Okay, and so in this next video on uh, the Facebook advertising, I'm going to uh, show you how to do a slightly more complex ad, but one which I've had a lot more success with, and it's called a lead form ad. And so rather, when they click on the uh, read more of the ad, it starts off like a normal ad, but instead of going to your affiliate link straight away, it opens up a pop-up and gives them some more information and asks them some questions which they have to fill out and then it goes to a link uh, to your affiliate link. Now the form is actually pre-populated with all the information because Facebook knows everything about them and so you end up getting their email and particularly their phone number and so why this is very effective is because you can, you can actually call them up after they've interacted on Facebook with your form. So these are some uh, Facebook lead forms that I've created. And uh, the important number here is this number here, $1.97. So it's costing me around $2 for every person that fills out this uh, Facebook form, so to speak, which is pretty good considering that around uh, 1 in 20 or 1 in 30 people will sign up. So that's about $60, $40 to $60 uh, for a sign up. And of course you get 200, well, 250 Australian dollars as a commission. So uh, that isn't a bad result and shows you how this uh, Facebook advertising can be useful. However, it does require you to be calling these people up, assuming you get their phone number. So let's show you how to do that. As I say, these are already done, but I will uh, just create a new one uh, for demonstration purposes. Now you'll have to use a different campaign. So the objective of this campaign is called lead generation. So you'll actually have to start a whole new campaign. Uh, then you can have ad sets, uh, as I say, I've got one per, per country, as this one's in the UK, and likewise you set budgets, etc. And then you, you continue down, and uh, again you can use a carousel or single image. So we'll go down here and use a image, uh, I'll get rid of that, and uh, actually Google have now a whole lot of free stock images. So you can type in, uh, say, meditation. I think this must have remembered my last search here. And you can choose one of these images to display. So let's have a look down here. So for argument's sake, let's just choose this one. However, I will also upload a whole lot of images uh, that you can use on this website with a link to that. So once you've uploaded your image, you put in all the same data as before. Uh, looks like this one's from Shutterstock. So obviously, I don't know, maybe there are some royalties. Uh, but anyway, this will just be a demo. So once I've had a look at it, I'll, I might delete this one anyway. Uh, so you enter your uh, text in here, um, join our meditation program and headline start a group. This is just dummy text. Uh, you use a different uh, text here. Uh, in the news feed because it, it, it goes at a different place um, easy to do so this is just dummy text I would add more and the main the text that I suggest will be on this page below the sign up this video I mean uh, so I, I like learn more I think that's quite clickable and then the URL parameters I'm not sure about this parameter I'll leave this off because the reason being is because the difference with this one is we're going to go to a lead form 
okay and this is a demo lead form which I created earlier um, but just so that you can see all the fields I'll duplicate this one so demo number two and when the form pops up you'll have a, a picture and you can change that picture so you, you put that here um, I like how it's optional uh, but I like to have it on and so you can have a different picture or the same picture so you can use the same picture as on your ad or use a, a different picture and you can uh, upload another image um, I've just uploaded this one before and then here's the bullets points and so you put all of these benefits for the program so people get more inspired and then of course they click next and then they go through to the questions and here you can have as many or as few questions as you like now the fewer the questions the more people you'll get through but the more questions you have both the more answers you get and also the people that are willing to fill it out are more likely to sign up. So it's up to you. The key ones you need are their email, their name and their phone number. They are the three key ones. But if you like, you can also add the city. And I've actually got a custom question here. For whom are you hoping to teach meditation? To know whether they're wanting to uh, go out and use it in their community, at their work, with existing clients, with school kids, that sort of thing. So that's another question that I've got in here. Now for the privacy policy, uh, you do need a privacy policy and if you don't have one yourself, then you can always use the Skillful Mind privacy policy and that is at this link here, www.skillfulmind.com.au slash policy html. Uh, I don't have a disclaimer, so you have to add that in. On the review screen, you've got the um, main review of, of what they're submitting. And then they'll submit that. And then it goes to a thank you screen. And it's on the thank you screen that you put your website link to your affiliate page. So that if they get through, they click through that and then they go to the affiliate page. Now, irrespective of whether they go back to that page or not, you've already got their information. So you can follow them up with a uh, phone call. I might actually just delete this because I'm not going to use it. All right, so once you've created the ad, it'll look like this and it'll have in review, which will take about 20 minutes for the ad to be activated by Google and then you'll start getting information uh, you'll start getting impressions and click-throughs now when you get a click-through you will see the results here and there will be a link underneath the result for the lead form which you can then download so let me bring one of those uh, downloaded uh, forms up in CSV format just a second and so this is one of my uh, forms where I've got 168 uh, people have clicked through and you can see here that you've got their phone number you've got their email address their first name and last name uh, the city if they filled that out sometimes you get some additional detail even though I didn't ask for that and it'll come through uh, with their uh, you know where they want to teach meditation so you'll have all that information and then you can give them a uh, call so that's it now uh, you'll have to download this every day to get the new leads there is a way through Zapier to actually send that information to a Google spreadsheet or in my case I use a program called Asana uh, which you can then uh, follow up on straight away but that is a uh, paid service I think it's about five bucks a month or something with Zapier um, but otherwise in the beginning it's easy just to download this uh, lead form and follow them up with a phone call ask them 
If they have any questions, would they like to know some more information, etc., etc., to see if you can get them over the line. All right, so that's uh, the lead form, and it is probably the most successful form of advertising I did to get uh, my first hundred or so leaders. Okay, thanks.